morning and welcome to this episode of A Shepherd's View. Um, yeah, I thought I would just uh, speak with you from the heart this morning. I usually have some sort of a prepared um, list of things uh, that I want to do. and But a scripture that's been on my heart, uh, particularly this week for some reason, has been Psalm 37. As I look at my Bible, um, it says at the very top, it's one of my rules of life. Uh, this entire psalm is one of my life verses, one of life chapters, if you will. I think that we are walking through some difficult times right now. Uh, we've been in this uh, thing for quite a while. We're getting some vaccines and getting various things like that and but we hear in the news there's there's all kinds of there's a new strain here or a new strain there and and we look out into the future i remember yesterday just commenting to someone as they um, as we were talking about the vaccine and what that would allow us to do well uh, honestly uh, the vaccine uh, is not going to allow us to do much different than we are right now until the numbers decrease. Uh, big thing. we got to have numbers down under the threshold mark that has been established. And until that happens, there's a lot of things that are going to remain the same, even though the vaccine is out there. So we have all these various things that are bombarding us and coming towards us and continue to and have um, we're coming up on almost a year. We've, we've been in this a solid 11 months, and maybe <laughs> we've got another 11 months. I don't like to say that. I don't like to look at it that way, but uh, it's there. I know as, as a man, um, I really want to fix this and cannot fix it. I know that there is... Uh, a level of frustration and anger that just hangs down underneath uh, because of that. And we, we struggle with some of these things that uh, we can't get our hand around, our, our, our mind around, and make the changes. And I've been drawn to a passage, uh, Psalm 37. I just want to read from this this morning, uh, not take a lot of time. Uh, maybe we'll take a couple episodes to read from this. And this Psalm of David, it's entitled in my Bible, The Heritage of the Righteous and the Calamity of the Wicked. Um, begins this way, do not fret. <laughs> wow, don't we need to hear that today? Do not fret. I, matter of fact, I have underlined in my Bible, do not fret. Verse 3, trust in the Lord. Verse 4, delight yourself also in the Lord. Verse 5, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Verse 7 says, rest in the Lord. Verse 8 says, cease from anger. And again it says, do not fret. Wow, first eight verses really, really speak into the situation that we're in. Psalm 37, a great, great passage of Scripture. Let me just read that for you. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Wow, there you go. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Wow, is that not a word for us today? Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell, that means occupy. Dwell, live there. When you dwell in a house, you've, you have pictures on the wall, you have uh, decorations, furniture in place. Um, <laughs> there's, there's laundry in the washing machine. There's uh, there's your favorite comforter laying on the bed or whatever. You know, you're living there. You're in the house. And he's talking about here, 
Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land. Live there. Live in it. And feed on his faithfulness. If you haven't done this already, I encourage you to do this today, this week. I want you to look back over 2020. I know that's difficult. A lot of people say, I just want to forget 2020. I want to move on. Well, eh, can't quite do that. It left a lot of residue. And I think it's important that we look back. We look back on 2020 this way and we search for the faithfulness of God. It's there. It is there. 2020 was not a complete wash. 2020 had some beautiful moments. I, I look at it in my own life and I think, wow, how in the world, in the middle of this whole mess, did that happen? But I see God's hand and I want to acknowledge that today. I acknowledge that to you. So trust in the Lord, do good, keep doing what he's called us to do, dwell in the land, and feed on his faithfulness. Delight, find joy, that's what it means. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. You know, when we find our joy in the Lord, the being in the joy of the Lord also puts in our heart those things which he wants us to have anyway. So there's this, I'm joying in the Lord and it also changes my heart that the things that I desire are what he wants me to desire and he fulfills that. Verse five continues on with, commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. We're back almost a repeat to verse four and just delighting in the Lord and committing, letting him have it, letting him have it, putting, him, putting that in there. Uh, one of the great struggles in my life is, uh, <laughs> and you've seen it lived out in my, uh, in my fight with the technology issues we have for our Sunday gatherings. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm in there. I'm digging away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fix this. I'm going to hangle through this, and we're going to get it. And I like this verse. It reminds me of the uh, to, to stop. And it says, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. And He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Wow, when you're committed to Him, and you're delighting in Him, and you're doing good, dwelling in the land. He will bless you. Verse 7 says, rest in the Lord. And uh, I, I like that. Rest and wait patiently for him. Rest and wait patiently for him. That's, a, that's an incredible uh, verse there as we just simply let him take care of things. And again, verse 7 says, do not fret. Do not fret. And then in verse 8, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. Well, as we look into the future and we think about some of those things that are ahead of us, it can still drain the tank dry, as they say. And and we look at that, I encourage you to go to chapter 37, Psalm 37 rather, and just immerse yourself in that whole thing. We'll, we'll talk more about uh, the other verses. This is a rather long Psalm. There's plenty of it there. But let's, uh, let's this morning just look there at that first eight verses. Do not fret, trust, delight, commit, trust, rest, cease from anger, do not fret, uh, over and over, words of encouragement to us for this day. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you so much. And we want to delight in your presence and so many things that you have brought to pass and you have blessed us with. And we acknowledge that today. Your presence has been with us, watching over us, caring for us in so, so many ways. Father, this 
struggle that we find ourselves in at this time is uh, one that depletes our heart and depletes the energy in our tank, so to speak. And we look to you, fill us up, fill us up, help us to rest, help us to delight, help us to not fret, help us, O oh Lord, to cease from our angers. Lord, we look to you. We are but human, human flesh, and of all the creatures to be pitied. But we look to you, our Father, for your help in our lives. All of this we ask in Jesus' name.